sa temperature, minimeasure kung gano'n nga ba kainit o gano'n kalamig ang isang bagay, panahon, o minsan yung tao din. So, ginagamit dito pang measure yung thermometer. So, kadalasan ng mga units niya, the Celsius or yung degrees Celsius, Fahrenheit o degrees Fahrenheit, and yung Kelvin. Paano nga ba i-convert mula sa degrees Celsius papuntang degrees Fahrenheit or vice versa? Or degrees Celsius papuntang Kelvin or Kelvin papuntang degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit papunta sa Kelvin and vice versa. So, yan ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon. Ito lang tatandaan yung mga formula. So, degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 1.8 times degrees Celsius plus 32. So, degrees Celsius naman equals sa degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 1.8. And sa Kelvin, degrees Celsius plus 273. So, tatlo lang yan. So, for example, 50 degrees, convert natin siya into degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so, ano yung ulit yung degrees Fahrenheit? So, that is 1.8 times degrees Celsius plus 32. Okay, so, that is equal to 1.8 times ilang degrees Celsius, that is 50. That is 50 plus 32. Okay, so 1.8 times 50, that is 90. Plus 32. 90 plus 32, that is 122. So that is... So 50 degrees Celsius is equal to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, another example. Yung 100 degrees Fahrenheit, i-convert natin siya into degrees Celsius. So, ano ulit yung degrees Celsius? Degrees Celsius is equal to degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 over 1 point, divided by 1.8. Okay, so substitute natin. That is 100 degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 1.8. Okay, so 100 minus 32, that is 68. And then divide sa 1.8. Then 68 divided by 1.8, that is 37.78. So, 100 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 37.78 degrees Celsius. Another example, 100 degrees Celsius, i-convert natin sa Kelvin. So, ano ulit yung Kelvin? Degrees Celsius plus 273. Okay? So, this 100 degrees Celsius plus 273. And 100 plus 273 is 373. So 100 degrees Celsius is equal to 373 Kelvin. Okay, next convert naman natin yung 50 Kelvin into degrees Celsius. So kapag yung degrees Celsius, convert mo sa Kelvin, mag-add ka lang ng 273. Kapag Kelvin naman ang i-convert mo sa degrees Celsius, so mag-minus ka naman ng 273. So that is 50 minus 273. And that is equal to negative 223. So, 50 Kelvin is equal to negative 223 degrees Celsius. Paano naman kapag yung degrees Fahrenheit ang i-convert mo sa, sa Kelvin? So, for example, negative 70 degrees Fahrenheit, convert natin sa Kelvin. 
hindi natin siya makakonvert agad-agad sa Kelvin. So, ang gagawin muna natin, i-convert muna siya sa degrees Celsius. Okay, so negative 70 degrees minus 32 divided by 1.8. Okay, so that is negative 70 minus 32, that is negative 102. Then divide sa 1.8 and that is equal to Negative 56.67. Negative 56.67. Okay, so negative 70 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to negative 56.67 degrees Celsius. Yan na yung i-convert natin into Kelvin. So negative 56.67. That's Kelvin is equal to plus 273 and that is equal to 216.33 so negative 70 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 216.33 Kelvin so ganun din kapag yung Kelvin na convert mo into Fahrenheit kukonvert mo, yung, mo muna yung Kelvin into degrees Celsius and then yung degrees Celsius kukonvert mo into degrees Fahrenheit